In Myanmar, there have been signs of political reform under the military-backed civilian government of President Tian San. Some, including Western leaders, have welcomed the changes in the Southeast Asian country, also known as Burma. But hundreds of political prisoners remain in detention, media control is tight, and on the border with Thailand, home to more than 100,000 refugees, many aren't convinced reforms will come swiftly enough. FSRN's Ron Corbin reports. At the May Tower Clinic in the border town of May Sat, medical staff are treating residents from the refugee camp. On one day each week, children are immunized against hepatitis and given treatments for respiratory infections, malaria and anemia. Each year, more than 100,000 patients come to the clinic and the staff knows the community well. Cynthia Mung, a Karen doctor who set up the clinic 20 years ago, says there has been growing optimism among the refugee community over the outlook for Myanmar, with the reforms now taking place. Generally, we can say that people on the border here, they're very excited about um, the political change. At the same time, people want to see the progress the political progress because of uh, they know about some um, dialogue going on the political prisoner release. Dr. Mung says many support the steps to political reform but she says they also want more expansive changes and more civic participation in politics. Since coming to office in March President Tian Sin has set Myanmar on the path of reform. Pro-democracy leader Aung San Suu Kyi, imprisoned for almost 15 years, is now playing a greater role in Myanmar's political life and officials freed about 300 political prisoners. But the government still imprisons hundreds of dissidents. Tate Nyung works with the Assistance Association for Political Prisoners and is a former political prisoner himself. Hello, Pyoro Yavari. I can see that the, the, the reforms will be um, harder. And um, for the more um, future reforms to occur, um, the reforms um, depend on Don San Suu Kyi, GNNLD party, persuade or push the Burmese government or um, opposition groups or activist groups inside Burma um, persuade or push or involved um, with the politics in Burma. Um, to push the government to um, launch off um, re- uh, reforms. And um, at the same time, the international pressure um, on the Burmese government to do more reforms. Tate Nyung says he wants to see the release of the remaining 1,600 political prisoners. Government repression and decades of conflict has also created the refugee crisis. An estimated 120,000 refugees still remain in seven camps along the border with Thailand. Tens of thousands have been resettled to third countries such as the United States, Europe and Australia. Father Robert Twy is chair of the Karen Refugee Committee. For the refugees in along the border in here, Every month the people increase, they are coming from inside Burma. And also because if I tell you friendly, some of the people also maybe, they are real refugees. But some of the people, they are not real refugees. Because the problem only they want to for resettlement. Now if we see in the camp, we had from our camp, Rohingya, Shan, Ching, Kachin, Lahu, and also in India, Mon, Karen, many people is coming. While some refugees hope to make a home far from Myanmar, others wish to return to the country. Again, Dr. Mung. The suffering of the local community or Burmese people and the displacement and the poverty and the human rights violation, we could not see any improvement or even worse. Mm. So people are really excited. And people want to go back home safely and secure and with dignity.
Tensions were heightened recently following the Myanmar army's attacks on Kachin communities along the border. This and other pressing human rights concerns has made some more cautious over the outlook. Lin Yoshikawa from the Washington-based Refugees International says the chance for refugees to return to the eastern provinces of Myanmar is still some time away. I think that it's great that the discussion is starting, but uh, the potential for um, the refugees in Thailand to be able to return to um, eastern Burma remains very distant. Um, regardless of the political situation, you know, the extent of landmines there is, is incredible, and no one really knows actually where they are. Yoshigawa warns there appears to be a considerable disconnect between the optimism among civil society in Yangon and the harsh realities of the refugee community along the border with Thailand. She hopes leaders pay attention to providing housing, jobs and economic opportunities for refugees returning home. Ron Corbin, FSRN, Maysot Township on the Thai-Myanmar border.